guys and welcome to my update for my project pan, the 22 items in 2022 uh, project. So I hope you're as excited as me. This time or this update I have actually hit my goal or finished three more items so I'm really excited to show you and uh, we'll just get right to it. Alright, the first product I'm going to show you is it's one that I love, but it's just not as exciting to show you the progress because it's just not there. I don't understand this project product. I use it almost, I'd say like 90% of the time that I wear a, a blush, I use this. It's Beauty UK Sweet Cheeks in Pink Pavlova. I... I use it all the time and I don't understand why the progress is so going so slow. Um, the only thing is that it, it's very like, I won't say oily, but it has sort of, it's, it's a little bit more slippery than some of my other cream blushes. Um, it does contain jojoba oil and um, shea butter so that might be the reason why I feel like it's a little bit I don't know how to explain it and why did I even mention this I think it was just the fact that I do love it but the only thing I can or negative thing I can think of is that I apply it and it looks so nice and then it goes away very quickly so that was kind of my point of that um, I don't know if you can see, well actually I don't have this blush on right now. I applied this blush in the morning and now I have my, now I reapplied with the Milani Luminoso blush. So that's what I'm wearing at the moment. Because this is gone. I have to reapply my blush um, one or two times during the day. Even though what I've been doing lately is uh, applying this one and then apply a powder blush on top to kind of seal it and um, make it more likely to stay on for longer. So the progress isn't too big. This is what it looks like now. And this is the progress. You can barely see that there's, maybe you can't even see it, but there's actually two lines at the bottom there. So yeah, like I said last time, I can't really see myself finishing this off um, this year and I kind of feel like it's getting so old that I might have to declutter it if I'm not able to use it up. We'll see. Alright, next is my butter bronzer. It's the light version, the light bronzer from Physicians Formula. I repressed it. And this, this doesn't look, it looks pretty similar as the last time I updated you guys. It's still going strong. The weird thing is, even though I repressed it with the alcohol, the rubbing alcohol, it still smells the same. It has the same great um, like coconutty scent. I love it. It's getting really thin, but Unfortunately, I haven't hit pan on this yet, so I'm sorry to say, but that's that. So this is a close-up of what it looks like. Um, hopefully, I'll hit pan on this next time. That's what I said in my last update too, but yeah, I really hope I hit pan on this by next time. Alright, then we have my e.l.f. little little contour palette and I was uh, focusing on the powder in this project and I decided to repress it this time. So last time I just had like a little product left on the outer rim there and so I repressed it and now this is what it looks like. right there. As you can see, I've used a lot of the highlighter as well. I've sort of had this as my main highlighter 
for this period since I'm using the powder it's just so easy to go for this highlighter as well and I enjoy it more than I thought I did um, <clears throat> so yeah very subtle natural highlighter I hope I'm gonna be done with this by my next update we'll see all right then on to the product I am done with I haven't finished it but I've reached my goal which was using it 30 times within this project and it is the H&M eyeshadow in award season so I really did enjoy using this eyeshadow it went really well with my pan that palette which was the Zoeva and taupe I might use it combined with that palette some more this year but for now it's out of my project and I'm excited that I managed to hit my goal on this so this is now done as well as this well hated product in this project pan um, my next product I'm going to show you was the product I disliked the most in my project it was the H&M lip definer in all natural I'm all done I tried to sharpen this some more uh, some of the um, product came out and now I can't I can't um, turn it in the sharpener anymore it's just too short so this is all done I'm really happy I managed to pull through and and reach my goal on this even though I didn't enjoy it I did reach my goal pretty fast I'll actually show you guys the update so you can see how much I managed to use um, within this period time period before I before it was done so here you can see the last time and then this time I think it's a good amount of product right so that was my main focus uh, right after my last update and then I managed to finish that one off and then something really sad happened which was my um, Isadora glossy lip treat in vintage rose disappeared I lost it I had it in my purse my purse that doesn't have like a zip lock and I lost it before so I was kind of almost uh, expecting that I'm probably gonna lose it again and I did and um, I did manage to use it um, quite a bit before I lost it but but I just didn't manage to finish it hopefully it'll hopefully I'll find it um, I've al already lost it once and I did manage to find it in the grass outside of my house so there's still a chance but for now it is out of my project and because those two lip products were out I now only have one lip product left to focus on which I have been and I've made amazing progress <laughs> in my eyes I'm so excited about the progress I sadly haven't finished it yet but I but I'm really happy about my progress still so it's the Kiko lipstick that I have uh, in 102 pink sand look at how little this has become it is getting so tiny so excited about that and I do enjoy using this lipstick it is what I have on my lips today I think there's a chance I don't think I will finish it by next time because I think I'm I probably will start digging out product as soon as I flatten out this the the lip product right down here um, and that will probably take some time but I think I might get by next time I think I might have started to slowly t um, flatten out the product and maybe gotten close to like finishing it maybe we'll see but I'll show you the progress 
So as you can see, this is the line I've drawn today. So really, oh, sorry, really good progress right here, I think. So happy about that. I really think I'm gonna be able to finish it within this project. Okay, next we have all my brow products. Um, I'm not gonna say too much about this. I've talked about this in depth, uh, all the other updates, but the Weekend Brow from Milani still has a little bit of product left, so I'm gonna keep it in for probably one more month maybe um and then we'll see mine is in soft brown by the way um i like i said the last time i think i will repurchase some kind of brow pen maybe not this one maybe i will i don't know but if you've seen my other updates you know i've had problems with this so i'm i'm not sure if i will repurchase but i like the i like the result anyways Next up, we have the Essence Super Super Last 24 Hour Brow Pencil, and it's all <laughs> worn out and beaten up, and it's broken and all, but it's still going strong. So this is what it looks like. Um, I have used quite a bit of it, but. But I've also used a lot of other brow products, either alone or combined with this one. So I think for that reason, I haven't been able to finish it off. I think usually I finish these kinds of like thinner retractable brow pencils pretty quickly within about three months. Um, I thought this was actually going to go a lot quicker than it has just because of my experience with <clears throat> with other brow pencils but it has gone gone pretty slow i think it is partially because i'm using other products combined and partially because this is a more waxy for formula so it goes a little bit slower so it goes more of a longer way to use up if that makes sense and then my last brow product I am actually done with. I finished this Wow Brow from e.l.f. in, I can't even tell what it says. Is it natural, natural brown, neutral brown? I can't even tell anymore. I used it up, I will repurchase it most definitely. <laughs> and I, I was actually thinking about doing a video about products or product categories I most likely won't repurchase I haven't done one yet I might I might do I don't know if you want to see that but um, but brow gels was in that category because I just hadn't found a brow gel that I enjoyed but with this I think it's mainly because it has some fibers that really helps and I found new techniques of applying brow gels and so I, I'm pretty sure I will repurchase this one not sure maybe within this year maybe next year we'll see but yeah I really do enjoy this um, cruelty free and very affordable elf wow brow so happy to see that gone now um, that I was able to use it all up. I mean, I still use it by the way because I like to, even though it's all dried up now, I like to just comb through my brows with it because I like the the actual spoolie. So I might keep it in my uh, everyday makeup even though it's gone, just to comb through my brows. Next I have my um, Charlotte Tilbury color corrector in number one fair this is starting to look really worn out look at this I've had it with me everywhere I've went uh, this summer so that's probably the reason why it looks really worn but I still love it I have nothing bad to say about this I I even love the packaging the way that it has the mirror and it looks really elegant I think I'm gonna keep the package for um, you know repressing products and things like that once I've used it up but this is the progress 
Um, I'm still using this every single, every single time I've done my makeup, I use it. I absolutely love it under my eyes. You can see that I've expanded the pan a little bit on one side there, but I still have a long way to go. And then lastly, I have my Makeup Mecca Waterproof Smooth Eyeliner Pen in a metallic gray. This is what it now looks like. I really, I still really enjoy it. Works great with my taupey shades from my Intope palette, so the Soiva Intope palette. And I think I've made pretty good progress, but I can't really see. I think it's gonna be hard to finish it all the way within this year, but I'll do my best. And here is my progress for the eyeliner. So that's it. That's all my progress for this time. Unless I find my lip gloss from Isadora, I now have eight products left to focus on. Two, four, six, eight. Yes, eight products left to focus on. I'm so excited. I do hope I find my lip gloss, by the way, but if not, I still got good use out of it, so I'm really happy about that. And... Yeah, let's see, what goals do I have for next update? I do hope I finish off the powder from e.l.f. I hope I hit pan in the butter bronzer. I think I'm gonna call the Weekend Brow done next time. We'll see. I hope I'm, I hope I'm about to flatten out the lipstick. And yeah, just try to do some good progress. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again in my next video.